Hi, this is Lachimi Kantiwari. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a bar chart with the positive and the negative values. So here you see here in the positive values, there is red color and in negative values, there is green color. Okay. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing how you can, you know, create something like this and how you can give a different color for a different values in your bar chart. Okay. So let's say start with uh, our application, uh, uh, Android application, let me show you, uh, right. So for Android application, uh, we need to first of all that we need to set our, uh, you know, the repository. So here is a repository, uh, we need to copy it and uh, then we need to set it into a Gradle. After that, we need our dependencies, okay. So we can set this dependencies here perfect and let's uh, sync it and uh, let's open activity main okay so activity main xml file and then uh, we need to set here our a bar chart right so it's a very simple we need to set here a bar chart and then match parent and uh, uh, somehow uh, we need to get rid of this one with the relative layout and uh, Okay, and here we want, uh, oops, let's get rid of all those things. Let's make it a bar chart, match parent and match parent. And let's give it to a ID, uh, give it to a chart one. Okay, so everything is done in activity main XML. So close these two files. Now let's start with main activity Java coding. So first of all that we need our uh, object that is a bar chart. Okay, so it's a bar chart and uh, let's name it as M chart, right? So now let's come to a main activity uh, on create method and then we need M chart is equal to here a bar chart and then find V by ID R dot, sorry, R dot ID dot, you know, the chart one, perfect here. Now, uh, I'm not going to set other, uh, you know, other properties such as background colors and extra. So let's, uh, you know, directly start with uh, setting a data for uh, our bar chart. So we can do these things uh, simply by, you know, creating another method. That method is, let's say, make it as a, a private and then a wired uh, set data, right? So in a set data, first of all that, here uh, we will be needing a list of data, right? So a list of data we need, uh, uh, how we can do it? Uh, it would be something like this, there would be a list and uh, the list would, uh, the type of that list would be a data, okay? And uh, we also, you know, the need to create a data right so the data class we will create this data class don't worry about that and then we need here a data list right right so let's create this data class so we can create this data class very simply so we need to do here a private and then a class and then data right so in the data we need uh, first of all that here you know the public i uh, string that would be a x value you know the x-axis uh, x-axis uh, value that would be a string and then we need another one as a, a public that would be a y value okay so that would be you know the float uh, sorry yes it would be a public float and uh, x value and another one would be a public and then it would be a float and then y value right so we need here a constructor a default constructor we can get uh, using command and n okay so the default constructor for all those three values right so constructor and uh, now we need our value formatter right so let's create our value formatter with a private class so it would be a private class and uh, value formatter so here f would be capital value formatter and then implements our you know the i oops 
implements our i value formatter right so here we need uh, one more variable private decimal format okay so let's make it as a m format right and uh, here we need to create our constructor and uh, let's create a default constructor without any you know the without any value okay get rid of this okay so here a public uh, value constructor right so in this we want to set a m format is equal to a new decimal format and uh, the type of this decimal format would be you know like this that would become uh, into a float right and uh, now we need another override functions you can press a control and o it would come that can override function is get formatted value right so that is a string type and we need to return here uh, m format dot a format and it would be a value right okay so we have created our value formatter and we have created our data class and now let's complete our set data class right so in a set data class you see here something is missing here so what we are missing here uh, private word set data and I think here we are missing okay list data and uh, here it would be a data list right now let's uh, create here array list so the array list the type of array list would be a bar entry right and uh, you can see it as a value oops yes you can set it as a value and then new array list right and then you need here a list and uh, the type of this list would be an integer which would be used for our colors right so the colors new array list let's create a two color here the first one is int green that would be a color okay so the dot rgb color and uh, it's uh, 1110 and then 190 that's mean it would be a green color would be you know uh, more intensive than other colors and uh, let's create another color as red equal to uh, color dot rgb and uh, we need 211 okay 211 that's the red is more intensive than other colors okay so you can set other colors randomly perfect so we have here red and the green now let's come with a for loop so in a for loop we need to create int and i equal to 0 sorry int i equal to 0 and then i sorry and then i must be less than the data okay so the data list dot size right and make i plus plus so this is different uh, uh, i'm creating here data with a different method so the data list so the data list is defined uh, here okay so which will be passed passed here into our data set right okay so now we need to set our values here so that is let's take its data d is equal to you know uh, data list and uh, dot get i right so dot get i here we will be getting a value you know so those value would be here a string x axis value uh, x axis value x value and y value now we need to create here a bar entry let's make it as an entry and then sorry entry is equal to new and uh, then make another bar entry right so d dot x value and then we want d dot y value right and now we want to set this values uh, into uh, uh, into our values right so let's add it that is our array list of values so we need to add here our entry right perfect so we have uh, we are done with this one now let's uh, add some you know specific color so specific colors uh, you know if it is a uh, 
or greater than 0 then set a red color and if it is less than 0 then set a green color. So, we need here if condition. So, d dot of y value ok. So, here we want d uh, we want here a d dot y value. Uh, I think we need to set it into a for loop itself. Uh, we need to set it here. Uh, if uh, d dot y value is equal to or greater than 0 ok then we need to set a color. So, you know the, that colors dot add. So, the colors dot add it is a list color color list we will be you know the giving these colors into our bar data set right. So, let us make it as uh, if it is greater than 0 let us make it as red and uh, else you can make it is make this colors dot add to green right. So, we are done with this color settings now let us create a bar data set ok. So, we can create our bar a data set yes it would be a set and then set equal to a new a bar data set and then you know we need values and then values right ok and then set dot uh, set color. Uh, I think we need to set here a color since we are giving an array of colors. So, it would be very simple to give it colors right and then set dot uh, you know uh, set values of our text color ok. So, let us give uh, values to our text color as a colors ok. So, that is a list. Uh, I need to set it the colors right. Perfect. Now, let us create a bar data you know the, we have created a bar data set. Now, let us create a bar data that is data equal to uh, new bar data and here we need to give a bar data set that is a set and then we need to set few properties of this bar data. So, let us set uh, you know the value of our uh, text size that uh, we can make it as a 15 f and uh, we can set uh, the color of uh, you know these values. I think we do not need to set the color. So, we have already you know the set uh, uh, we are done with our colors. So, do not set. Now, let us uh, set a value formatter of this data. So, the data dot uh, set value formatter and uh, it would be a new and uh, then value formatter right and now let us set data bar width ok. So, bar width and I am going to set it 0 0.9 f and let us set this data to our charts the m charts or set data is data and uh, then after this I am going to invalid oops I am going to invalidate this chart. So, m chart dot invalidate right. So, we are done with our uh, set data method. Now, we need to you know this I have called this set data methods uh, you know and then I passed a data list there. So, that data list would be type of data right. So, we need to create the data here first of all that. So, let us uh, create the data here make it by using a final ok. So, the final and there is a list and the type of list would be a data ok and uh, then make it as a data is equal to new and then I oops make it as a new array list and now we need to add few data here right. So, the data dot add and then I would like to here add new that is the data and here the data for first one would be our 0 f that would be you know uh, what you can say x axis and another one another value let us make as a minus 224 f that would be y value and uh, I am going to give another label let us make it you can see a label let us say the 12 and 29 label ok. And uh, you know here it is giving the error somehow it is uh, telling that uh, the this you know the parameter which I have passed that uh, that might have changed. So, I need to change that parameter here first of all that. 
somehow you know i made something you know the different here so i need to take this first of all that from here to you know, here i paste it here right right so it's now it's fine okay so copy it and paste it many times as much you can so let's one make it two i make it three four uh, five six oops a six a seven and eight right so let's make it to a plus again make it minus plus minus oops make it as a minus. okay doesn't matter okay right so you you can do it okay as per your wish so it doesn't matter actually you yeah? so let's do it randomly okay great okay so we have passed this values to our data now uh, we need to call here our set data right how you are uh, i'm uh, skipping few methods of uh, setting axis etc if you have uh, if uh, you have been following my previous tutorials you know how to set axis uh, uh, x axis y axis and uh, other properties of chart okay so let's uh, run this application so i am just trying to make it short as much as possible let's run it and we will see um, here previously we have our uh, you know a bar chart positive and negative so that's the example which i had created uh, but uh, i have created here new one which would not be the perfectly like that one but uh, it would be a similar really you know almost the similar okay see here the positive and the negative however this one is the not beautiful as this one you can uh, do it uh, if uh, you can make it beautiful as that one uh, for that one you need to make it as the 10f and uh, you need to also decrease this um, bar width how you are uh, now you know the text overlap uh, would not take place uh, let's wait for this one see here you know, see so the, how you are the values are not changing so for value you can you know give here a different value so let's make it 124 and you can make it let's say 204 and then you can make it uh, let's make it as a 94 and uh, you can see it 124 uh, you can make it as a minus and make it a uh, minus doesn't matter so 124 make it 204 okay now there would be you know a different uh, see here so how beautiful is this one right so here in this tutorial we have created a positive and the negative bar chart uh, thanks for watching this video tutorial and uh, you can subscribe my channel so that you can directly get updates into your inbox i'll be covering few more video tutorials based on mp and raw chart library Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.